back in 2018. So very experienced runner. That's number six, Aisha Pratt Lear. Norris, another great woman to watch here on the inside. Kind of now sneaky. Andrews. She's, she's won some great races, and we kind of forget about her sometimes in the landscape of American 1500 meter running. She's got some serious wheels, and she's in great shape. I saw her pace Alicia Monson for that U.S. record in the 10K. Norris Andrews really working on her strength. She's joined by her younger teammate, Vissa, the young gun and the veteran. Always helps. We talked about it in the college races to have a teammate in the race. Got to be thinking for Vissa, looking over and seeing the experienced Josette Andrews on your shoulder really helps you feel good. Jennings and Potley are doing the same. You know, they, they're they laughing on the starting line. Shows so much why it can help having a teammate in the race. But all these women, women they have raced high-level races time and time again. This is the kind of field where any woman could come away with the win. Just a great field through and through. A really good one lining up here. We are ready to go. Keeping them tense and nervous. These are Falling the worst moments Here we right go, here. here we go. And they are off. I think Rivers of UA Mission Run. Baltimore, the 800 meter runner, likely doing the pacing job here as she goes right to the front. Andrews following her closely. Everybody staying out of trouble. You notice the teammates kind of sticking together here. Vissa keeping an eye on Andrews. Jennings and Lear running side by side farther back. Both of them more steeplechase athletes don't have quite the high end foot speed of an Andrews or a Vissa or a Camp Bennett but very strong in the latter stages of the race. This has run 201 in the 800 meters. That personal best came a year ago, so you're right. That foot speed of Italy's Cinta Vissa. Andrew's also going to have a lot of strength. I mentioned that pacing job at the 10. She paced at 15.09, and let me tell you, it looked smooth. She was also second at the Wanamaker Mile at Milrose this year, so she's got some serious wheels, 3.59 PB in this event. On paper, the class of the field, but let me tell you, any one of these women behind can get her on an off day. Camp Bennett lurking in third right now, running for Taylor Made Elite. She was the 2021 NCAA D1 1500 meter champion, was just seventh at the BAA Invitation mile a few weeks ago, won by Gabby's former teammate, Chrissy Gear. Starting to string out already about 122 into this race. Norris has just been running more and more confidently, I think, over the last couple of years as she's taken down some big names and put herself firmly in the conversation with some of the best 1,500-meter runners in the nation. Josette Andrews has really come on strong. She was one of those women that really improved during COVID, kind of came out of nowhere, ran the 1500 and the 5K, was one of those few women to be able to qualify in both events. A really, really strong athlete and a great pickup for on. Kind of buying the stock low, as they say, but Andrews' stock has continued to rise with every single race she's run. She's right now the only woman willing to go with the pacer. It's Camp Bennett, Bissa, Jennings, and Pratt Lear behind. Andrews was fifth at the Indoor World Championships a year ago in the 1500 meters. A little bit of an international experience as well. And that's why I like those indoor championships. Sometimes we get the up-and-coming athletes able to mix it up and put the USA on their chest. And in Gabby Jennings with here. a big move here. The pacer's dropping off. I like that from Gabby. She saw that the pacer was about to step off, knows that the pace tends to lag. That is a great time to move right before the pacer stepped off. Gabby, one of the younger runners in this field, Jennings in that Adidas kit, but with great experience, she is a gamer. She knows how to race here, and she is getting up on Andrew's shoulder. She was fourth at USA's in the steeplechase, first one out in that incredible steeplechase final, and she has no fear here as she is working around Andrew's shoulder. We'll see what happens here. Gabby Jennings with some international experience, also the NACAC champion in the 3,000-meter steeplechase. Those two up front mixing it up. Keep an eye on Vissa with that 2.01 speed as those three are breaking away now from the field. Gabby Jennings lurking behind Andrews, running very, very well right here. Got to talk to her the other day. She said they are in great shape. Her and Pratt Lear have been running so well, mostly strength work, but feeling really confident. She said in her words, she is ready to roll, and she is doing that behind Andrews right now. But Vissa has also got into the mix here. Cinta Vissa, the new On Athletic Club signee, the D1 1500 meter champion in 2022. But Andrews, Andrews has stepped on the gas. Joe said Andrews showing why she is the veteran in this field, putting Vissa and Jennings in her rearview mirror. 
Andrews, the strength, she did so, such a great job pacing the 10 through 5,000 meters, second at the Wanamaker mile, but second's not good enough for Josette Andrews. She is charging down the stretch here. Sintavissa trying to make a move, but there is no room left. Josette Andrews powers home for on. Josette Andrews with a smile on her face, the well-deserved victory. Gotta love it, On is sponsoring this race and they have their champion in the, they're, they're sponsoring this event, they have their champion in the 1500 meter run and Vissa following right behind. On goes run one, two, Josette Andrews, Sinta Vissa, Camp Bennett with a great kick to get into third. Jenning fades to fourth, but still a great race right off her PB and a great race for all these women. 404, not a bad time here in a little bit colder conditions at the Penn Relay is not always known for individual fast performances at these kind of events. But Josette Andrews, 404.88, a very powerful win, a confident win as you see them getting ready to go. Everybody, Lucy Goosey, raced against each other before. Josette Andrews held off the move from Gabby Jennings. Sinta Visa trying to stalk and use that 201 speed to track her down, but it was not enough for Visa. Good reel back Andrews, who turns back all challengers. And in the now distinct On Athletics Club jersey, with the victory here in the 1500 meters.